so so uh, at least you said in, in Bemba they say it how? In Bemba they said uh, Ui Shibe. Oh. Ui, yeah, something like that. Okay, uh, good. Obviously yeah. there's probably deeper ways to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Bemba, so yeah. So, 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 I mean you, you um, first, first of all I think that's mind blowing that you named it. So you wanted <laughs> to penetrate more into Kenya. So yes, yeah, so I thought I wanted, I wanna obviously get the East African get market. Get the East African market, yeah. So, which also in turn gave us, you know, we were into Uganda. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Rwanda also, and um, uh, also Malawi. Um, yeah, man, I mean, that's it's, crazy. It's, yeah, it is super crazy. Yeah. Okay, so did you, now, do you, when do you launch it? Actually, no, let, so, me, let me ask one more, one more, one mm-hmm. more song. Um, uh, uh, hallelujah. Because our features are Hallelujah, yeah, yeah. That was a difficult song. Because um, I wanted to do an altar call song. Obviously a song that leads mm. people to Christ. And that's that's what that song was. And um, I sort of tried to do that. I've, I've, I've tried to do that in, in, in even in the, the album after that. Mm. But uh, it was important for me to have Abel on that one. Because Abel is always... Abel is an evangelist, mm. so he, I, I, I kind of wanted him to be the one who brings people to salvation by the time, and it's the last song on the album. Mm. So I wanted that when people hear the entire album, they, they, they when they get to to that point, they mm. are led to to Christ. Yeah, that's the way you wanted it. That's to end. the way I wanted it to end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bon setina la kwa Bon setina badwa o chimwa Bon setenzo funika kufa bati chikondi cha Yesu chati pulu Musa Before wenze mumala waba mai mulungu ana kuziva no kupangira pulani Atikonda with love everlasting he'll never leave us no matter what happens Yes Mupase moyo wako Azako kululu kila machimo Yesu ndie ansa ya ziko And he came to save all the people Yes, you were made to live for Christ If that ain't what you're living for Then you're living a lie Your heart is saying yes Your mind is saying no But Jesus yeah, is yeah. the way to go Won't you hey. come to the light Come to the light Where everything is gonna be alright Come to the light, come to the light There ain't no need to fight And all the angels sing Hallelujah, hallelujah Heaven's waiting for you Will I be waiting for you? Hallelujah, Your daddy's waiting for you My Jesus waiting for you Doesn't matter what you've done Doesn't matter where you're from All you need to do is come He's waiting for you His doors are wide open His son is now waiting for you All you've got to do is lift up your hands to the sky And say, I receive your love I receive your grace And I repent of all of my sins, Lord No, 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 no I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming home to you I receive your love, oh Lord Hallelujah Said I'm coming home, coming home Daddy, I'm coming Love that. Yeah. Do you feel like you are, you had, before we just close this one, mm-hmm. do you feel like you had gotten to the point where uli jijua you knew yourself mm-hmm. <laughs> what what's funny is uh i'm still trying to know myself right now <laughs> self discovery <laughs> you know what i mean so i don't think it's a i don't think it's a journey that ends yep 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 uh and i think that 
I think I think when you reach when you just fully discover yourself, then it's time to go, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think like then what are you doing here? You know. Yeah. So the only thing is you can just be better at being yourself, at, at knowing yourself. You can maybe know yourself more, mm. uh, which is what I've done. Um, and you know later on, I I I I I did write a book. And um, oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote, and when when I, in that book, I, I say the same thing. I say, look, uh, <laughs> I've, I, you know, when I did, when I did uh, Jiju, I was trying to discover myself, and you know, I'm still on that. I'm journey. still on that journey. Yeah, I'm still on that journey. Yeah, hey, that's I'm maybe deep. more confident, but you know, yeah. Okay, mm. so I want to flip it to Lotta House. Right. Then you come back and you can tell me about now releasing this album. Right. And just the impact that that had. But for Lotta House, you guys now do your first or your second song together after Chipolo. Mm -hmm. Chipolo Polo, yeah. yes. So that was right after after I dropped my Jijue album, which was in April. Uh huh. Okay, okay. And let's then, start with that. So, we st so, dropped my album in Jijue. Super successful launch. We did it in a stadium and it was crazy. Stadium? Yeah, it's called the Barclays Sports Complex. Was it packed? So packed, packed, packed. Like, and and I know that not everyone was there for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know there was. I mean, they were excited about seeing Pompey and Abel as well. Yeah. Uh, Tio. No, but still, uh, it you did it in a stadium. Yes, yes, yes. So it was one of these. Not like a. Not like. It's one of these uh, stadiums that's just like an empty ground. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like the whole thing was was full of people. That's probably the. The biggest event I've ever done in Zambia. Yo. Yeah, that was the biggest event I've ever done in Zambia. So, um, uh, response. Response was amazing. We sold all the CDs we had. Um, uh, the altar call was beautiful. Mm. I mean, like uh, the just even the amount of hype around it because there was. All these secular artists were there. Yeah. Um, and it was it was just crazy. I like I, I totally enjoyed the experience with all my heart. It was an amazing. And it was time. now a stamp that yes, you've released an album. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, what happens now next? So what happens next? You know, um, obviously now we sit down, uh, Ian and Daliso, and we realize you know what. We need to change. Uh, we need to now start looking more at the business of this studio. Mm. So up to that point, the studio was still at Ian's parents' house. So it was <laughs> <laughs> it was still at the back. At the, the, it, it 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 moved. It was it used to be inside the house. Yeah. Then now they, you're in the then servants' they, quarters. Yes, yes, yes. Now they put us in the servants' quarter. So and he said, you know what? We need to expand the business because now. It's, you are not the same, you know, you've done all these albums, you've done a bit of corporate work, uh, now we need a, we need an office space. Start paying some rent, man. Yes, <laughs> exactly, you know what I mean. So I said, okay, cool. That's how we went to, uh, um, so with the CD sales, we went to an area called PHI, we found a house there and we started renting that house. So we used the entire, it was like a three bedroom house we used uh, two of the rooms as studio space, then the other two rooms as uh, office space. Mm. And then uh, we, um, so, that's, so that's, what that, that's what that became. And then we also recorded, that was around the same, around the time we recorded um, Go Hard, which is our next uh -huh. Lotta House song. Yeah. And that yeah. was that was a huge that was big. yes yes because now that was lot of us back together that was lot of us back together so and, and so, why go hard because you you've mentioned the name go hard before yes so it was from the evangelism um, uh. yes because we kind of reached a point where our evangelism changed uh, actually whew, backtrack a bit yeah so just before I released my album um something major happened so basically there was when i was after after pompey had released his album and now people were, like eyes were on me like okay you are next uh what what had happened was i just started hearing rumors about me like from like blogs and stuff 
there was this blog that just posted and said, oh, uh, this my guy's killed himself. What? Yeah, just from nowhere. So like I remember I'm rehearsing for my, my launch and my sister calls me and it's like, Magnus, like, why are people saying this about you? And stuff. So I'm like, I don't know. Like, and you know, but like people just started throwing rumors around like yeah. that, you know? Um, um, so I was like, okay, um, well, you know, uh, I, I don't know why they would do that, but anyways. So on the, on the, sometime in February, my uh, Chungu called me and told me, oh, bro, because the launch was now in, in, in April. Mm. So everything's going well. So we started advertising the, the launch in, 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 in around February. So in February itself, Chungu called me and said, oh, bro, uh, Ice Prince, uh, the Nigerian artist, mm. is coming to Zambia. And do you want to be one of the artists on, on like, who opens Categories. before? Yeah. Yes. So I said, yeah, sure, no problem. It will be... Uh, so he says, we have to be at a club called uh, LIV. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no problem. Because <laughs> it's where we go. I yeah. mean, we, you know what, we evangelize there all the time. So we're like, ah, oh, cool. Um, so uh, Chungu was like, okay, yeah, cool. I mean, then so Chungu was like, look, I would have gone, but you know, it's just, it's, it's a hip hop event. So I kind of feel like I'll be out of place. So I said, okay, cool. No problem. So uh, the, the manager of the event called me and we you know we did the booking and everything. Like, okay, cool. And then the poster went up. Oh, Ice Prince is coming, featuring, you know, a bunch of artists and Mag 44. So, people were, first of all, they were like, what? <laughs> Mag 44, what the I think, yeah. <laughs> so now, like, it just became. So like the, the tension was building up b just before that event. Mm. Then when that event happened, the next day there was a radio show talking about the event and saying, no, this is just like, why a how can a gospel artist be singing in a club and whatnot? Mm. And it became a whole thing. Like the controversy was crazy. People were not having it. Mm. And now I was thinking, oh my goodness. So like everyone was upset that I did that event. So I was kind of like, ah, I don't understand. I've been doing mm. it all this time. Yes. Why are you only being upset about it now? Mm. You know? So obviously because I'm, 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 I'm more popular now. Yeah. So now they, now they are aware of it. So it was, and I, I thank God for Abel because Abel was the one defending me throughout this whole time. Mm. Any, anyone who makes a post, Abel was there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Listen, you know, and, and arguing with these people. And so, like, uh, it, it was a crazy time. I would do interviews, TV interviews, radio interviews, because, you know, I have to advertise my launch. Yep. But all they asked me about was this Ice Prince performance. So now, like, I'm like, it was just, like, I was just stuck now. Like, mm. you know, and I really started losing hope and all that stuff. And... Yeah, because that, um, that can yeah. be deflating. It was very deflating. And I, 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 and I was worried, obviously, thinking, you know, I'm trying to launch this album. And then this negativity comes out. Like, mm. is it going to... But I think it kind of worked to my advantage. Cause, and I think that's why it was Because now people were like, wanted to say, okay, let's see if this guy is really a Christian artist. Mm. Yeah, but then so many people were led to Christ. That event was so amazing. Uh, and, even, and even when we did our club events, because from then on, Ish, we were doing club events all the time. Mm. And every time we were there, we led people to Christ. Yep. We led people nothing to Christ. Changes that, nothing changes. Is. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. So what made us do that Go Hard song? Was this was noise. Was this noise. Yeah. I get it. Because actually, when I went to that, to that Ice Prince event, every, we were all there. Me, Pompey, and Abel. And, you know, when I was rapping, they it's came so out on stage. And, you know... It's, and yeah. you guys know Vichani in the club? Yeah, yeah. They, everyone knew. They knew Vichani. <laughs> they knew all the songs. So yeah. it was, it's, it kind of made me see that, hey, you know, this is not, um, it's, it's, it's more than, than, you know, we, we have to reach out at all costs, going hard, you know. Yeah. I mean? and, and, that's, and that's how Abel said, you know, let's do this song. That was Abel's idea.
Uh, yeah. Neglecting to reach the masses. To please in the upper classes. In the name of maintaining spiritual standards. Why people dying? Somebody give us a hand here. We got to harvest. We are the laborers. We got the power. We're more than conquerors. Shining armors in a battle he has conquered. On every city he'll shout until this land is yours. I'm gonna go. Until this land is yours. I'm gonna go. Until this land is yours. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Until this land is yours. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Fresh from the world, my cause for many rivals. The prodigal son felt something like I do. Not deserving of a celebration At my return, but that's why it's called amazing grace We better learn not to turn to self-righteous surgeons Who dissect the gossip, make destructive mergers A furnace awaits, not a perfection chase Taking last ones, it's those who don't know grace this land is yours, I'm gonna go Until this land is yours, I'm gonna go Until this land Everywhere I go, I be shining like a bright light. I will keep it in the morning. I will shine it in the dark night. Yeah. Mpakazu wa ikale ke kuchoke la kumawa mpaka mwezi ukazime. I will keep on proclaiming your name to the nations until they hear me say. Yeah. Until this land is yours. Pesa LIV o loco East Point Konse molungu akulu luki la majimo Yonse mapulano ya devo achita destroy Satana akuna ma atichalo ni enjoy Achuni de benzo, yellow ni za yellow Life is not the things that you see on the shot Yo umuti mautu ntila yesu Ufwa tempo like a house without a roof Salvation free no mutengo my land for Jesus I'm not afraid to say I'm a believer And everywhere I go Covered by grace Covered by grace Covered by grace Covered by grace My land for Jesus I'm not afraid to say I'm a believer And everywhere I go Covered by grace Covered by grace Covered by grace Covered by grace And then, uh, and then we we did we did. And how was that received when, when you released that one? Actually, it was a bit slow. It it was it was received the way Lord House like because obviously we were in this popular space. Yeah. So the people loved it, and people, you know, the people some criticized, some said all kinds of things. Okay. Until the next year, when we did. We we performed it at uh, the Zambia Music Awards. Oh yes. Yes.
Somebody asked me, does my God cry? For every soul that never slips into the great light. I had to wonder, cause I'm standing at these front lines. And all these people seem more focused on the good time. Story of the prodigal, so with a bad twist. Cause he was heaven everything that he was blessed with. And now he's wanted everything that he was blessed with. And now he's walking these streets with his last clip like, is it them on me? Is it them on me? No, I'm fearfully the one that I would D.I.E. Yeah. I fall asleep on his tears on his bed, I sleep. I wonder how in the world did I fall this deep? So to God I speak, show mercy please. I done lost of my willpower, I'm just too weak. But if the Bible holds truth of every word you speak, then I know my last request is gonna be to you. So when we performed it at the Zambia Music Awards, it was controversial because 
the Zambia Music Awards were sponsored by Zambia Breweries. Mm. So, a lot of Christian artists didn't want to be nominated there. They didn't want to be there because they felt like, you know, it's Zambia, it's alcohol. Yeah. So, we can't. So, I mean, for us, it's like that's how we reached out to people. Yeah. It was in those spaces. Yep. It wasn't, I think sometimes we, there's obviously that thing of, oh, don't do this, don't do that. When God really, ultimately, it's the two uh, golden rules. Love the Lord your God so your heart, with all your heart, soul, and mind. Love your neighbor as you love yourself, right? Mm. And, uh, and go out into the world. And go out into the world and, and preach the it. gospel. You know what I mean? Matthew 28. And, I th and for us, our world was, you know, these people. Because mm. this, this is where I came from. Yep. And I know how to connect to those people. That's where most of us came from. So trying to now so when we did when we did that zambia music awards performance uh that then that's when that song became mm. big yeah mm. that's when that song got traction and everyone knew about it um and yeah and and, and uh, people received it well yeah okay mm. cool so oh man i, I like that song mm -hmm. if i'm talking about that song mm -hmm. Because I now my source of Zambian music, mm. gospel music became its retunes. Right. So yeah. at this time now, have you guys entered a partnership <laughs> with the three tunes? Yeah. We have. We 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 those. I mean, Stephen is one of my closest friends. In fact, later on, um, so after after I released that uh, my album in 2015, I wanted to release my second album. Mm. 